Nancy Pelosi is not representing San Francisco when she won't call for a ceasefire and she won't stop the genocide. And we say that because the Board of Supervisors passed a ceasefire resolution. Close to 80% of Democrats want a ceasefire. What party does Nancy Pelosi represent? Democrats. The rich. The Pope says, in the name of God, cease fire. Is she Catholic? Yes. Yeah. Is she a good Catholic? No. She's trying, I guess. The point is that she no longer, or she never, maybe never did, represent the interests of the people of San Francisco in Congress. She won't meet with the people. She won't meet with the people. She doesn't hold town meetings. She is inaccessible to her constituents. And so we have to come to her house if we want to get our voices heard. And occasionally we do, because occasionally she's home. Is she home right now? Yep. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, looks like it. Probably. Nancy Pelosi is not doing anything to stop a genocide that we are watching and that we that that is hurting us very much. Who here is having trouble sleeping? Who here is having trouble just leading a normal life right now? Because we are watching a ceasefire, I mean, we're watching a genocide unfold in real time. Yeah. And who here is aware of the, the Holocaust that the Jews suffered in the, by the Nazis? Yeah. And who here, when you think about that Holocaust, that they killed, they say, six million, but I don't know the number, it doesn't matter. When you think about that, do you ever say to yourself, what would I have done? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So I grew up as a Jewish person, secular Jewish person, but my family was members were murdered in the Holocaust. And this is a Holocaust worse because we're seeing it in real time. We can't say that we can't be good Germans who looked away. How she can be looking away, I don't understand. If anybody knows what's going on in her heart, that she could just let this happen with our and fund it and give our money to Lockheed Martin for Hellfire missiles which cut up the victim when they land. They have a blade that goes around. Lockheed Martin is really making a lot of money from this genocide. And Raytheon and yeah. Boeing and Grumman and General Dynamics and Elbit and Hewlett Packard and on and on. They are all merchants of death. They are all war profiteers. I, I, I might be able to have, I might have to, okay. <laughs> Talking point number two is not representing, no, no, number one is not representing San Francisco. Number two is not representing the world. The whole world wants a ceasefire. The whole world wants this genocide to stop before it goes any further. And with Netanyahu announcing that uh, he's bombing Rafa, the last refuge, where they have been sent for safety and they have nowhere to go. And there's over a million people who have no safety, no security. They have no way. Uh, children, thousands of children have been killed. And what difference does it make if the number is accurate? It makes no difference if, if the Hamas Ministry of Health is the one giving the figures. We can see with our own eyes. And when I see a child, sitting in a hospital shaking with fear and having a bomb having gone off nearby and their ears are ringing and they don't even know what's happening to them. How am I supposed to react to that? Should I say, yay, we're going after Hamas? No, I don't say that, not for a minute. It's not about Hamas. It's not complicated. This is not complicated. Don't let anybody say that this is too complicated. We have hearts and we see that genocide going on and we need it to stop now. And we're here today for that reason. Accusing us of being agents of Russia or China, it is funny, but it's also extremely dangerous. Right. It's extremely dangerous because the FBI is a lawless outfit that murders people with impunity. And I'm sure that you know who I'm talking about. Everyone from JFK to Malcolm X to uh, Martin Luther King Jr. to Judy Berry to uh, Fred Hampton. I mean, I could go on and on. And they do it, and we are targets now. 
I'm not just talking about me. I'm talking about Jewish Voice for Peace. I'm talking about if not now, the the Jewish the Jewish groups that are um that are coming up here, veterans for peace coming up here, veterans. So she's endangering us all, not just from the FBI, but from the rabid Zionists and the Christian nationalists who hate, uh, they hate us. They already hate us and she's putting a target on us. We don't appreciate that at all. I am very, very afraid.